Hi, Joyce. It's so good to see you. How are you today? Good to see you, Helen. Yes, it's just wonderful to be doing these interviews with you and others. I'm, I'm interviewing six people today, so it's been great. And it's so <laughs> one of the 52 juried and curated in the show. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's so honored to be part of it. And is this your first time in the Art Fest, or have you done it before? I've done it many times before. MPA, right. so it's actually um, MPA uh, for me. It's a third time, right? And you're also teaching classes for us. Thank you. I do have a classes in MPA as well. Yeah. So because we're going virtual, I thought it would be really interesting for everyone to learn about your background a little bit, and that could be your influences or your college or your university or where you're from. Anything you want to tell us about yourself? Would you share that, please? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. Um, I'm from Korea. Um, study, actually, when I came here, I studied computer science. As a, I was working as a programmer for a little bit, and I become a mom and um, decide to think about what actually I want to be in 10 years, and I was thinking about um, missing painting, drawing when I was young. So I start doing it and I was like, oh my gosh, I can actually do really well. And that's how I actually started back to what I really always dreaming of. So um, it's been great so far. And do you spend a lot of time in nature? Because obviously the symbolism in your flowers have a deep meaning. Maybe you could tell us something a little bit even about the two pieces behind you. Behind me, I have a uh, beautiful sunflowers. Um, uh, I went to the, there's a lot of uh, parks and gardens around Vienna. I live in Vienna, Virginia, and there's a great falls around me and um, metal art garden or uh, river band and or blue, uh, bluebells or uh, the sunflowers I got from, um, what's the name of the place? The garden in Manassas area. and. I went with my kids, I have three kids, and we went there, walk around with, you know, taking photo, mommy photo times, and I always drag my kids all over <laughs> like this. And um, I want to grab the feeling of those flowers, like breathtaking moment when I see them, when I bring my phone to take a photo every time. And what about if I bring this feeling and relate it to some different meaning of energies of uh, the, each flower. So that's how I study some um, Asian culture, a little bit more of my background. Actually, my father was um, um, watercolor paint back in 1980s. And he was uh, study some like oriental paintings related to a lot of uh, um, symbolic meanings. So for example, like peonies, like when you have peonies on your home, they believe that that brings your family your wealth and honor. So just like that, and um, my flowers, most of them has all those meanings together. So, And is the scale important to you? Because, you know, at Dub Martin Oaks, they have a wonderful library that is dedicated to miniatures but your work is bursting with energy and size. Does that have, yeah. the, you do that for a particular reason and intent to make it very sensual or what it, describe, is it oil paint, uh, acrylic? Describe something more about that. I started smaller and then I getting bigger and bigger. I want to give this one has more impact when people look at it because of, not just because of size, but the, all the energy flew around. Actually, I'm a martial artist as well. So uh, the energy flew around the flower and my painting gives you a bigger impact. And, 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 you know, and you look at it just because of sometimes the size wise and it gives you more attention and, and you're gonna have a stronger feeling. So um, I start painting bigger and bigger and getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> so I actually love, uh, and, and a lot of my students ask me, do you feel um, smaller is harder, bigger is harder? I feel like you work same amount as my style. Um, 
but uh, if you paint bigger, there's more space so you can play with this beautiful paint. So um, I prefer always paint bigger and you get more focus and more time. As you work larger, you must change your brushes and the size of how you make the marks, right? Surprisingly, I use a lot of small brushes. Ah. Started with a very big, of course, underpainting because my size is usually 36 by 48 or inches and those are big, I need a big brush to start, but I get to very tiny brushes, a lot of strokes and a lot of focus. So um, there are a lot of blending brush strokes going around and a lot of different techniques going around. But yes, I switch brushes a lot between big and small. And so what are you thinking about doing next in, uh, say, the next year? What are some of the ideas that are percolating for you to do as images or concepts, core values, themes, anything that's coming to you? That's I was thinking about actually um, recently, I missed the park so much since uh, we have a COVID, I usually drag my kids. <laughs> when, you people, when people ask my kids, like, I don't want to go. I don't want to follow mom. Wherever mom goes, there are a lot of bugs and, you know, <laughs> hot. <laughs> but um, uh, that was the one thing that I miss. I must go, like, every weekend, bring my kids, walk around these flower gardens and parks a lot. And so I like to paint some um, landscapes. I recently have a couple of them and I really love, I miss, like, I can almost see that place and running, I can see running around with my kids and that's what my, like, my next project's going to be. And so do, you, do you have a garden, for example, where you live? I do, I do. I have a, I have a, I mean, my house. That's what I started. Oh, I have a, like some peony gardens, like here and there. I actually have a very big, uh, hundreds of peonies blooming in the spring usually and I have a lot of cherry blossoms blooming in my backyard and but this year I just started out <laughs> vegetable gardens actually <laughs> just like other people <laughs> I have a lot of other uh, bigger garden uh, started this yeah. spring as well very excited yeah that's kept us active and and, and relevant I think right yeah. that's right it's been great so do you ever listen to any particular kind of radio or uh, is there anything that influences you in music or film, uh, Korean uh, influence at all in that way? Of my, uh, on my painting. Yeah, or on I, your, your painting. I'm a piano player as well. So I sometimes, uh, my background, um, George Winston, um, just a, listening to music and sometimes there's a ra um, called rain and I can feel that the rain movement on my painting, you know, it's just, um, you're, you're dancing too at that point <laughs> with the brush, I'm sorry, brush strokes and yeah, basically you're just like stroking around and, but yeah, that's usually very obvious in your work and a lot of kinesthesia from your gestures. What would you say to a young artist? What advice would you give a young artist? Young artist, um, I have a lot of young artists around me yes. and students and you never know, don't give up. If you feel like you don't know what you're doing right now, set up the small, small uh, something that you can finish and, and make you make give you feel more confident when you finish it and that makes you actually keep going that's how I feel like it all the times sometimes painting my painting job takes a year and a half sometimes year very long time each project and it's sometimes very hard to focus and keep going frustration anger sometimes you know sad but um, if you have a certain goal that you can just focus on just a little bit and then you're very happy with it, that actually make you keep going. So actually, I think that's always suggest my teacher and my students and um, just be happy, confident. You, doesn't matter if you make a mistake, it's fine. You don't know what you're doing, it's fine. You know, you just have so much time and I didn't know I'm gonna be artist when I was uh, 
the same, <laughs> you know, so I was thought that I'm going to be a programmer or, you know, something else, but you never know. So don't give up. Where else will you be exhibiting this, this coming year? Is there anywhere else that you're going to show your work? I have a studio in Great Bars, and I have, uh, uh, it's always ongoing exhibit going on. And I have um, actually art festival, outdoor art festivals going around as well around uh, Northern Virginia. But my space, my um, distance was very limited because my three kids are still young. So um, I'm be around here, not too far. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm so glad you have heard your stories. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. During the festival, I'm looking forward to uh, what's on the website as well to show us more. So thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you.